The growing prevalence of orchards and tree crops, as well as more recently drought conditions, means we're encountering bees in cotton crops more often. It's important to be aware and be mindful of bees that could be in your crop. You're more likely to come across bees in cotton crops that are flowering. What's less well known is bees can also be found in crops that aren't flowering. In this case, bees are searching for the sugars that are sometimes secreted from the undersides of the leaves. These sugars are produced by glands known as extra floral nectaries. It's important as crop managers to be aware of bees, particularly at times of spraying. The productivity of beehives could be affected either directly through spray application or indirectly through drift or dried spray deposits. Some sprays can be more harmful to bees than others. Look for special statements on the label, such as dangerous to bees and do not spray over crops where bees are foraging. Remember that apress often have sites where cotton is grown and can take two to three days to relocate a hive. It's important that if you use contractors for spray application, that they're also notified of any local hives. Bee Connected is a nationwide, user-driven, smartphone app and website that enables collaboration between beekeepers, farmers and spray contractors to facilitate best practice pollinator protection. For more information and to participate in the Bee Connected service, go to www.beeconnected.org.au. You can also find more information in the Cotton Info Cotton Pest Management Guide.